What if this takes three hours like last time? Um, I don't know if my camera has that battery, so. <laughs> Hi, I just wanted to let you know that I'm filming a video with my friends, so like, don't call me. <laughs> yeah, you always call right before you come home. <laughs> okay, I'm filming with my friends. How? Malcolm, David, and Becky are Hi. right here. Or how your mom thinks you have more friends. Yes, my real friends. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, it's- Hey guys. It's <laughs> <laughs> David, I want you to know I was doing so well. Like, I was not gonna break, and I'm not sure that I can do that again. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay. It's gonna take three hours. <laughs> yes. Hey guys, it's Hannah and today I am coming to you with all of my lovely friends right here. We're filming a video today together because I asked them to come over because I wanted to use them for views. So um, <laughs> we're filming a video specifically reading my hate comments because I thought that this would be really funny and also because David and Becky were over the other day and we just like read a couple of them and I was like we should do this for a video so that's what we're doing today. Anyway now we're gonna go down the line and have each of them introduce themselves. <laughs> you did this last time and it was the worst part. Yeah, <laughs> like absolutely the worst. Hi I'm David. Hi I'm Malcolm. Hi I'm Becky. Famous. Okay well last time Hannah was like you have to have a fun fact. <laughs> it's fine we learned that none of you have fun me. facts. Oh so. Oh yeah, yeah, I have a fun fact now too. Oh wait, I can't expose myself on the internet. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have my laptop right here, and I literally made a folder with a bunch of hate comments in it. And I just like want to say something ahead of time. I don't get that many hate comments. Most people who comment on my videos are very nice and very kind, and those are the ones I only pay attention to. But occasionally, I do get like these just incredible comments. Honestly, <laughs> that just blow me away. Like the fact that someone took time out of their day to like write something like this for me is astounding. So uh, yeah, I've saved them all into a document on my computer and we're just gonna go through them and have a good time. So yeah, <laughs> A good go. time. Malcolm, do you wanna read the first one? Of course I do. Okay. Anything for you. I saw two words and I'm already mad. If she said she didn't like Percy Jackson, I would have gotten a gun, find out where she lives and kill her. Wow. Love. Wow. Punctuation. I love, it's just I love threatening the life of I love strangers on the internet. Over books. I will say, I find this funny now. When I first saw it, I was like genuinely mad. The thing that makes me most upset about this is that like threatening physical violence is a horrible thing to do on the internet. Um, especially considering the fact that I didn't even mention Percy Jackson in this video. This was left on my popular books I didn't like video and I love Percy Jackson. So like if you had watched my favorite series of all time video, you would know. Oh, fake fan. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. Also not to get too real, I think the reason that comment bothered me is that like the whole like find out where you live, like that happens to people. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's why I was so like, oh, I don't no, like it. Heteronormative, kill yourself. Right? <laughs> I don't even- <laughs> I, What an opening! I don't even read, but even I can- <laughs> Why are you watching this? video. I don't even read, but even I can see that the reason you've grown to hate some of these books is because you've become an insufferable SJW. If you go out of the echo cha eco chamber, excuse me, <laughs> of, of, of femanism, uh, maybe, maybe you would be able to appreciate something even if it doesn't fulfill your race quotas. Femanism. Oh my I god. Should, I should honestly put that in my uh, bio for everything. Feminist. I'm a feminist. Please. And I think what really gets me at the end of the day is, um, it's a race quota for a heteronormative. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause you know. Makes perfect sense. I also love the icon, uh, keep calm and swag. <laughs> I love it. This one's like not that mean. How dare you, how dare you throwing up glass is great. I feel like most of the like hate comments I get are just like this. It's just people being like, how dare you, this book is good. Is it? Yeah. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Clockwork reader exposed. She thinks it's good. Almost all the books she's excited about are YA crap. And to top it all, she wants to give Dickens another try. Holy hell, I'm sure he'd be honored. I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> I've also Let's seen unpack. this one. Let's just yeah. unpack this. Okay. First of all, what really gets me is that they're hating on you for reading YA and then hating on you for wanting to try Dickens. Like, you tried it, you maybe weren't into it, and you're gonna try again. And they're taking that as you being like, oh, like, I'm gonna take my time to try this, which, like, doesn't make sense, and it's not you at all, but whatever. But, like, what I don't get is, like, you can't hate on both. You can't, yeah. you don't get to do that. You can't, like, talk shit on you 
for wanting to read YA and then get mad if you're trying to do something else. Honestly, um, Dickens should be honored if I'm willing to read his books. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the tea. Uh, <laughs> Anon asked, why do you hate Republicans? <laughs> <laughs> Is the comment over? That's the whole comment. Why do you yeah, hate Republicans? Yeah, it's just why do you hate Republicans? I yeah. thought there was more. No, no. no. That's <laughs> I don't know what prompted it. Mm -mm -mm. I know this is rude, but I need to say it. Okay, who do you think you are? I know you were just saying your opinion, but it came out a bit aggressive. Who doesn't like all those males in the throne of glass? I mean, the territorial face stuff is something I actually look forward to. And the jealousy and the claiming stiff is super intense and I love it. How can you even say it's not feminist? A girl who kicks ass and sacrifices herself to save the world almost quite literally is the main character of the book. I mean, that is the definition of girl power. The female characters are so not similar, even if Lorcan and Rowan might seem so. I think you have not read the rest of this series intently because you were disappointed by Queen of Shadows, which is my fave. And that is so unfair for the series. Sorry if this was rude, I don't mean to annoy you, but this video got me angry and sounded real rude to me because I'm a major Throne of Glass fan and Throne of Glass is practically my life. Plus, this video caused my friend to quit reading Throne of Glass and she is the only fangirl I know. Anyways, I understand that you have a different opinion, but I really have to say this. You made their friend quit Throne of Glass, so you should just delete your YouTube channel. Just leave the internet and um, never come back. Wh why, are you why are you crying? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Because of girl power in her <laughs> Yeah. I just want you to know, you all think you've heard a lot about Throne of Glass. <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> you literally have tears. I do this a lot, by the way. <laughs> this one's the yellow, Becky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one. People ask for me by name in a way. <laughs> Excuse me. People said I was an icon. That's true. So. That's true. <laughs> if you, any of you wanted to know if like being a YouTuber has changed Hannah or if it's gone to her head, the answer is no. It's, it's only gone to my head and David's head. Like it's changed us. I'm famous. I'm famous now. <laughs> Are you crying? I'm crying because he was crying. <laughs> okay. 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 So something oh. I want to address in this comment is. Why has your friend decided to listen to Hannah's opinion over yours? Like, I think that's something you just need to, like, look at yourself or look at your friend. Because, like, I don't read books. The only time I read books is when Hannah tells me to, and she's like, read this, you'll love it. And I do because I know she's right because I trust her opinion. I'm not doing that because you have a YouTube channel. I do that because I know you as a person. Yeah. So yeah. I'm saying this person, if their friend is trusting your opinion, like, over theirs, like, that's weird, right? Like, that's a sign. Something there's not working. Maybe they just didn't like Throne of Glass. Or, it's not my fault. Yeah, or maybe you're just right. Like, that's the other thing. I just love that they said that it is the definition of girl power. Oh, that's what the because acts are feminist. What? That she can use a sword? I don't know. She <laughs> takes ass and sacrifices herself. I don't know. I don't know. Almost quite literally. I haven't read it. So. Me neither. Don't worry. <laughs> <sighs> um, if your main issue is a lack of diversity, then go suck it and be a good woman. Ah, I didn't even see the last part! There is one like. They liked it themselves. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. Thank you. The, the main question I have is what does me wanting or like having an issue with a lack of diversity have to do with me being a good woman? I think it's the fact that you have an opinion. Oh, you're right. You're, yeah. a bad woman. you're right. You're right. You're yeah. right. Because we live in the 18th century. Yeah, and so, I can't um, wait for the comments we're going to get in response just, to us saying that. <laughs> um, just keep your mouth shut mm -hmm. and everything will be fine. Good. Okay. Thank you for yeah. letting me know that. But like, what if I go second? Okay. <laughs> Then you'd be a good woman. I know. I would, I am. Malcolm, honestly. just take my place and be a good woman for me. I clearly can't do it. <laughs> Malcolm's taking over this channel. I just <laughs> love how there's there's no like there's no like support. Yeah. Right? There's just like there are statements. Yeah, and exactly. like none of them are connected. There's nothing like if your main issue is a lack of diversity, then and an explanation yes. on like yeah. why they think there is diversity. What I want to know is why all these people are doing like llamas and alpaca dirty. Like <laughs> lots of these people have like llama in their names, or like alpacas, or like, and Maybe like it's their the pictures person. are llamas. Maybe, oh. but like it's a thing. I mean, I know it's like an Conspiracy. internet shtick. But <laughs> it's your next video. It's a f book. Chill out. Which like. I, yeah, yeah, I can't be so mad at that one. No, yeah, see, the thing is, like, you're right, but this is also a booktube channel. So, <laughs> yeah. so I'll just uh, quote myself from a while ago. I think it was, like, sophomore year or freshman year. Your drama's weak and tasteless. 
<laughs> like really, what a real one-liner with that if one. If you um don't want to hear someone's opinion about a book, maybe don't watch a booktube channel. That's yeah. I don't I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Yeah, what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your goal? I don't trust the opinions of a person who hates otherwise well-written books wow. because the events slash characters exclamation point don't. Oh. That's all one thing without any space in it. Don't go along with their personal political opinions. Your political opinions are irrelevant when it comes to books, especially when it's a fantasy set in a medieval setting. You wouldn't reasonably measure a work like Game of Thrones by your modern sensibilities. Here's the thing what? about that. Game what? of Thrones is being written in a modern setting. <laughs> yeah. Not like it's taking place in a modern setting, but like it it's happening now. It's not something that was written a long time ago. So like, yes, you would. You get rid of things that you don't like and you were like, cool, this may have been a work like a work of art, a work of whatever. And like, boy, oh boy, was it great at the time. But like, it has no place now. We can appreciate it for the good things that it did. But overall, you can assign things to oblivion if they suck. Also, like they're saying, I don't trust the opinions of a person who hates well-written books because of their political opinions. Generally, your channel is based on your opinions on books. Most booktube channels? Yeah. And maybe some people, and maybe this just comes down to a personal opinion, but for me, I would prefer someone who expresses their opinions about books based on their political beliefs <coughs> because if you're not, like, taking that into consideration, I'm not sure what you are taking into consideration. Yeah. So then are you just saying that you like any book that you read? But if I say, if I like rate too many books five stars, people will get mad because they say that I like too many things. So like there is oh. no winning. <laughs> I'm sorry for like enjoying life. <laughs> I know. Also like just because racism existed in that time doesn't mean like the message of your story has to be racist. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't, I don't understand. I don't even know what they're talking about. I don't like, I don't know how to react to the rest of these comments without just saying like, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just like that's it. Like you're just wrong. I find it troubling how booktubers like you have, all caps, to see diversity in books or else the books aren't good. No, I'm done. First of, all, <laughs> first of all, most authors write what they know or what they're comfortable with. Wow. Oh, your stakes? Wow, I can't. So if you don't like the lack of diversity in SJN's books, Sarah J. Mass. then don't read them. I'm sorry, is this the same as your age? Throne of Glass author. Oh my yeah. god! Oh <laughs> my god. People are so mad. It's okay. <laughs> don't trash the books because you don't think it's not politically correct enough. Second, comma, her books aren't based on in contemporary times. They're fantasy, all caps, books. So if her fantasy world is no, all white, no. then so be it. No. I'm it's dead. her story. And for you to police or criticize her for her fantasy world, there's something more wrong with you than her. Don't force your political slash social beliefs on authors. You don't like what they wrote? Don't read. Are you, do you want to go first? <laughs> how? I, I don't, how? Let's, no, you can go, you can, I can't. Okay, I know so little about these books because I watched Hannah's video, her like unpopular opinions video, one time. Whenever, I don't know when it's that like was. It's like over a year old. Yeah, so I don't remember anything. You just made that book sound awful. If your description of it is that like, <laughs> this author has a right to create their own fantasy universe with only white people, what the fuck? <laughs> like you made that sound so much worse. They don't even have the argument of like, oh, it's like historical fact that it would be like this because it's a fake place. <laughs> they, they have this right to make their book all white, but then so many people aren't gonna enjoy it. Yeah. You know? Booktubers, like, you have to see diversity in books. You enjoy books with diversity. I don't wanna read a book with the same character with a different name. I don't wanna yeah. read a book That's or a world boring. in which I can't exist. Yeah. Like, then you can't immerse yourself in the world and become one with the story. Did you read the whole series? Um, I haven't read the most recent one and I'm not going to read so, the last so one because I stopped because so I got read, tired of it. you've read multiple of the yeah, books. Yeah, I've read five of them. Okay, <gasps> so, so from that, I see that you tried. You yeah. tried to like these books. I did. And this la you don't like what they wrote, so don't read. You were trying to like these books. You were like, there's something I'm missing. Let's get behind it. Like, let's figure out what it is. You read five of them. I, w I would have stopped after the first chapter. Like, you tried and you didn't, and you're expressing your opinion. Whenever you get these comments, people act like you don't read books with white people in them. I know! Right? Like, you do! <laughs> wow, look at this, like, 
entire series <laughs> full of white people. The one next to people. it, the one next to that. Wow. Are those them? No, no, no. Oh, That's no. the Mortal Instruments. I got rid of them. Oh. <laughs> <Good. laughs> this video seriously pissed me off. Was expecting a nuanced and objective review, but instead I got a whining third wave feminazi who wow. believes that race, disability, homosexuality has anything to do with feminism. They do. <laughs> But I'll keep going. Feminism is the belief of equality between the sexes. Duh. You would know that if you... Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. You would know that if you took an actual class in university. Wow. Women's study or lesbian <laughs> dance theory. Hold on. How do I sign up for right? lesbian dance theory? I read theory? that and I was like, I want to take lesbian dance theory Oh my so god, badly. that sounds like a dream. Oh. That I would assume someone like you takes. I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. I am a women's studies major. But where, so, where do you take those classes? I don't know. Is it is it at a university? <laughs> Here, just a really, really quick thing about um, thinking race, disability, and homosexuality have to do with feminism. They do. Here's a really quick explanation as to why. Feminism is about uplifting all women. Some women are people of color. What? Some women have disabilities. <gasps> and some women are gay. What? And so inherently, feminism has to do with those things. I'm sorry, I'm shouting, but like, I just, I've reached my limit. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. Please. I just really want to take lesbian yeah, dance me theory. Too. Like, oh my god. How do I sign up? This person who I'm not gonna say your name because you're not getting the credit, but like, contact me personally, please, and tell me where I can sign up for lesbian dance theory. Because, wow. So like, I can't believe we're still saying feminazi. In 2018? Yeah. The wow. year of our Lord, Brendan Urey. Like. <laughs> you look like a cute little gnome. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you've been oh. her next D&D character. I just put that in there because I thought it was funny. And I <laughs> no, just, like, this ran came out the perfect time. I needed that right now. Yeah, that's not a hate comment. That's like, I think it's a compliment. I think so. I mean, I'll take it as a compliment. Oh my god, that's so funny. Gnomes are cute, right? Oh, my yeah. heart, like... <laughs> this whole video oh, has just people been like, how dare you have an opinion? Oh, I know. <laughs> true. I didn't even include most of the how dare you. So we're going to end on the dissertation that was written for me. I don't know if I'll survive. Okay. They've all seen this Hold before. On, I'm just drinking some water. What? <laughs> <laughs> me, this whole entire video. Oh, I will admit that you are one of the better SJWs. Properly sedated by your beauty and tone, I almost got on board with your opinions. <laughs> Why are we we're analyzing this? Yeah, I know, I it's know. because we're intellectual. This is, oh, okay. this is making me tired. I got what he's just saying. Oh, His comment killed Dave. Okay. I feel though. You're not in frame. I don't know. I'm here. <laughs> From your fear that you are problematic, just like mommy and daddy, and the racist homophobe under your bed. <laughs> I'm sorry, Donald Trump is under my bed, and I'm afraid. <laughs> oh my god. I couldn't pay attention to most of that because I was properly sedated by your beauty and tone. <laughs> <laughs> We're just way too distracting. It's just properly sedated by your beauty and tone. And then cower in the safe spaces from yourselves and the fear that you're problematic, just like mommy and daddy in the, and the racist homophobe under your bed, are just like iconic. Like yeah. iconic. Also, they should be tweets. Also, they should be. The Freudian wet dream of this. Oh, yes. Of safe space. Safe space echo chamber. chamber. Wow. Honestly, um, like, props. That was a lot. I really, really wanted you to understand this. Yeah. yeah. So they also, took the time to just, like, write this this five page essay in hopes that you it would like like bleed into your mind so you could be like oh oh my oh, god yeah. i was wrong there was one that was on the video that we did together did we get hate i, I want it no, no 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 i i did no oh no oh who wants to read this one this was on the video that we were all in together where we played dream daddy yeah <gasps> i oh, know this one. comment i can't read Becca it can't read I it. Know david it. do you want to read it sure so you're like gay <laughs> wow i thought better of you <laughs> Is it so you're like gay or yeah. so you like gay? So you're like gay. So you own like gay, right? You, you're? Yeah. So you're so gay. I own like gay. Yeah, you're like gay. I thought better of you. I mean, honestly, that's like an issue of ownership, I guess. I, Give it back. I own all of gay. I mean... All of like gay. <laughs> it's not... It's not, not just gay. It's not on brand. It's not true. <laughs> pure. It's the like gay. It's it all of our like offshoot yeah. brands. <laughs> She runs those. And this person, I do. This person 
expected that like you won't gay but it's just like gay so they're a little disappointed in all seriousness about that one if you actually have been watching Hannah's channel and you thought she like didn't support the LGBT community I don't know what videos you're watching I don't either <laughs> Wow. That's so, so yeah. um, thanks for that. So there you guys have it. That is it. That is us reading my hate comments. That was great. Yeah, there there are more, um, but my camera's gonna die, and also I think we're all just exhausted from I'm that. exhausted. No, let's take... I'm tired. Oh, I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm frustrated. You know, just the usual. But thank you so much to my dear friends for all being here with You're me welcome. and for doing this. This was a lot of fun, honestly. I know you guys wanted me to Again, so <laughs> I appreciate all of the like loving comments you all leave me. Those matter to me so much more. This was just like genuinely fun, um, just to laugh at them. But yeah, I love you all a lot. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you all so much for watching. All of my links will be in the description box below if you want to follow me on any of my other social media. I will leave their Instagrams linked if oh you God. want will me you, to. Will you link my yeah. Instagram? Yeah, of course. Oh, follow yeah. her heart Instagram. Oh she my God. And she's wonderful. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>she dropped five of tea. <laughs> please, please never, <laughs> thank you very much. No, when I was a freshman in high school, Leilani and I were both like really sad and lonely. So we both started like, tried to start YouTube channels because she wanted a beauty channel. I, mine was a fashion channel. I oh, filmed I two it. videos and I never uploaded either of them. I thought we told each other everything. <laughs> And I never did that. Yeah. Well, I thought we as a group told each other everything, but apparently we don't. No, we cannot. <laughs> now we've been that. Listen, I need to finish this video before just, we start I'm that. I'm just saying. Oh my god, Hannah, did you actually have a YouTube channel? I, I made one, but I never uploaded it. Oh. Um, so, like, I didn't um, actually do yeah. it. I, like, filmed two outfits and that was it. Wait, was it your fashion? It was my fashion. Oh! In, that's in so freshman, cute. It was not cute. No, you dressed really well. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to know. Hannah was wearing like $300 dresses by the time we were 14. <laughs> like, yeah. She's been like a hot thing for a while. But I want to say like, she usually gets them on sale, which kind of makes it even more infuriating because she'd like show up and just be like, look at this dress that was originally $300 that I got for six. And I'd be like, are you a wizard? But it wasn't cute. It was not cute. Yeah, it was. No, the pictures were not cute. Uh, okay, wait. Kat from Victoria's wore a dress that you wore. Yeah. She did? Yeah. You mean Ardent Are you kidding? Wait, which the one? The butterfly dress. <gasps> Wait, my Betsy Johnson dress? Yeah. I still have that. Yeah. Super intense and people love it. Oh no, I know so. people love yeah, it. Yeah, but people also hate themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Hello. hello. Hi, I just want to say Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, hello. Nikki. Oh, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were still out of town. No. Okay. It's okay. I didn't know if he was in town. <laughs> and then people get mad at me for not reading it. And then people get mad at me for reading Sorry it. Sorry for loving myself. <laughs> oh. You have, you're not in it. You have to scoot back. I'm just sit right here for the rest of the video. You're not in focus. It's focused on Malcolm's face, so it's focused back there. <laughs> I'm sorry. This sounds like 2018 Kanye wrote this. Oh my god! Because this is a really negative video, I wanted to re-acknowledge the fact- David's gone. That's okay. gone. Um, the fact that like most of your comments aren't like this. These yeah. are far and few, and like they don't deserve this attention, but it's funny to give it to True. them. True. So like, but you sitting there having a good time not being an asshole, you're great and we love you. Thank you. Maybe they'll pay attention to me. <laughs> maybe. Oh, okay. More like maybe. Part Hannah. two? Like, they don't... <laughs> part two? You want a part two? You want a part two? <laughs> Wait, in the very beginning of this video, you're like, I'm using them for views. As if people genuinely care about us. Yeah, a few people are like, bring your friends back. But like, we're not, we don't have followers. Excuse like, you, I'm an icon. And no, Hannah's not my girlfriend, but please start that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Exposed.